Hello everyone, today I've got my 7D with me and um, what I'm going to show you is how you can turn your regular old 7D into something like this, a more of an EFP style camera. Um, on this particular camera I've got the Rode video mic, I've got a Zacuto Z Finder and I've got the um, an audio mixer down here. It's actually the um, Juiced Link audio mixer. It mounts right to the bottom of this camera and uh, I'll show you how this is all put together. So as you saw I have actually a nice number of toys to play with that, that attach to this camera. So what I'm going to start with is attaching the Zacuto Z Finder onto the bottom of this. This is actually the new version of the Z Finder and it mounts right to the um, tripod mount on the bottom. First of all I'm going to show you the mounting bracket for the Z Finder uh, viewfinder. It's this actually has this Gorilla plate that comes with it. It's really nice, um, solid construction. Um, this one's already been attached. This this frame has actually been attached already by these two little screws here. But the the viewfinder will actually mount right onto this frame here. So we'll go to, over to the back, the, or actually the bottom of the 7D, and we'll add this on there. Okay, so I've got my Canon 7D turned upside down, and I'm going to actually just place this here, and here's the screw that mounts into the tripod mount. Kind of get that lined up a little bit. And um, and then we'll try to get this attached right up snug against the camera. And uh, let me just twist that on there. Make sure that's still snug. Actually, i use my thumb here to hold it, and then... Uh, since I don't have a screwdriver, I'm going to use a penny and tighten this thing. Okay, once the Gorilla plate is mounted on there, I'm going to turn this back over. You can see it's right here. fits pretty flush to the back of the camera. And then we can take the actual viewfinder right here, and it just snaps in over this frame. So, go like this, and it just clicks into place. Get the cap. Here. It's got adjustment for the diopter. So, fits pretty snug onto the back of the camera. Really nice. Okay, now I'll uh, turn the camera upside down again, and I'm going to attach this Juiced Link audio mixer to the bottom of the Gorilla Plate. And for this mount mounting configuration, I'm going to use this this hole here. There's there's three different, actually four different tripod mounting holes here. So I'm going to use this one because it centers the uh, audio mixer uh, right on the bottom of the camera. Okay, here we go. And um, so I'm going to mount it with the uh, pot controls facing the back of the camera so I can um, see them when I'm using the camera but um, it easily mounts in with a standard tripod mounting screw if we put it right in there once you've got your um, your juice link box lined up kind of straight you know lined up with the back of your camera you will use a allen wrench that comes with the the audio mixer and um, use this screw here to tighten it on and uh, I forgot to mention I actually have a uh, tripod tripod plate mounted on here so um, so it doesn't come with that but uh, I already have that on there so so I'm just gonna twist this until it's tight there it's ready to go now that the juice-linked um, audio mixer is in place, we can turn this over and we can get our first look at the camera with these attachments on it. Z Finder, juice link box. Now what we're going to do is attach the Rode video mic, and that goes up on the top of the camera. The mic just slides on just like this, and then just tighten this up. Okay, now that we have the video mic mounted on there, here's the full setup. Rode video mic here on top. Zacuto Z Finder attached to the Zacuto 
gorilla plate, those come together as a set. And we've got the juiced link audio mixer box down here for your microphone input. The last thing we have to do now is to make some uh, cable connections. So we're going to put the XLR cable into the Rode video mic right here. And the other end of the cable goes into channel one of the juice link box right here. And then we got one more cable connection. This will be the microphone input of the Canon 7D, so that's behind this panel here. Pull this out, open that up, take our mini jack cable, plug into the mic input. And then this other end goes into mic level out. So there you have it. Here's my final configuration of my Canon 7D with a Rode video mic, a Zacuto Z Finder, and Juice Link audio mixer box. As you can see, that is quite a bit bigger now in size than my 7D that does not have all the attachments on it. But with the attachment of the Zacuto Z Finder, I can tell you that it actually helps you stabilize the camera a lot better than just. Um, handheld alone with this with nothing nothing no other uh, point of support you know for your camera so I hope you enjoyed this demonstration video uh, with all these attachments on the camera it makes the Canon 7D uh, a lot more video friendly a lot more um, useful in the field when you're out shooting uh, definitely stabilizes the camera a lot more when you have the viewfinder attached and you have it hold, held up against your your eye um, the microphone is pretty is a pretty good shotgun mic and and the uh, the box uh, the uh, Juice Link box actually has been pre-configured. It actually has a pretty sophisticated setup for for different types of cameras. So this one is pre-set up for me. So so it was easy for me to set this up. But uh, just a warning: if you get the Juice Link box, the uh, there is um, definitely a um, setup routine on that depending on the type of camera you have. So. So again, that's, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.